we've constructed QQ plots. We've looked at some examples. Um, we've seen the extreme cases, but now we want a way to objectively determine what our QQ plot is telling us. So to interpret our QQ plot, we're going to compare our correlation statistic which is again that value either lowercase r or capital R, depending on the source you're looking at. We're going to compare that to what we're going to call the critical value for the QQ plot. So this is going to be a separate number that we'll calculate. We'll compare these two numbers and that's going to allow us to assess the normality of the population our sample data comes from. So if our value for r is greater than the critical value, then the sample does come from a normal population. If our value for R is our value for R is less than the critical value, then our sample does not come from a normal population. So we're going to construct the QQ plot. We're going to calculate a value for the correlation statistic. Using a separate tool besides StatCrunch, we'll calculate a critical value, and then we'll make this comparison. So this critical value is essentially telling us how good of a fit does our data have to be to that straight line pattern. So this critical value will be some number between 0 and 1, just like our correlation statistic. If this is 0.92, then our correlation statistic needs to be something larger than that, meaning we need better than a our correlation statistic needs to be better than that value of 0.92 in order to be a good enough fit to that straight line pattern. In example three, we're given the number of individuals in different Midwestern states living with perinatally acquired HIV infections. So people who contracted HIV before birth or within one month of being born. What we want to do is assess the normality of this data set. So do these values come from a normally distributed population or from some other kind of population? So with this data already entered into StatCrunch, we'll select Graph, QQ Plot, select our data set, and add that correlation statistic. So we see our data plotted to fit that line. What we have is something that maybe doesn't look quite exactly like that straight line pattern. We've got a correlation statistic of 0.861, which is a little on the lower side. Normally we see things in the 0.9 something something range if we have a good fit. So what we want to do is come up with again that objective way of determining is this a good fit or is this not a good enough fit. So on the module 6.1 tab there's a link to a calculator for the critical value for a QQ plot. So opening that up will take us to a new page and all we need to do is enter in the sample size for our data set. In this case we have 12 data values This calculator is going to evaluate this formula, where the value that we plugged in is our value for n in each of these cases, and output a value for us, 0 0.927514 in this case. So what this means is that our QQ plot has a correlation statistic of 0 0.861, which in this case is less than 0 0.927514, which is the critical value for the QQ plot. So since that correlation statistic is less than our critical value, this means that our data comes from a non-normally distributed population. Again, we don't know what other kind of distribution it comes from. When we get into estimating means, we just need to know whether our data comes from a normal population or non-normal. Since that correlation statistic is too low, we conclude it comes from a non-normal population. In our next example, we want to essentially answer the same question, but this time we're looking at number of people with perinatally acquired HIV infections in southeastern states. So again, with this data already entered into StatCrunch, we'll select Graph, QQ Plot, select our data, and add that correlation statistic. So this time around, we haven't even 
I don't want to say worse fit, a less good fit, because this value is even a little bit smaller than it was in the previous example. But we're also dealing with a smaller data set, a smaller sample size, meaning that critical value is also going to decrease as well. So we can come back to that calculator for the critical value for our QQ plot. In this case, we have a sample size of 7. So with our first data set, we had a critical value of 0.927. With a smaller sample size, now that critical value drops to 0.897, or about 0.898. So in this case, our QQ plot has a correlation statistic of 0 0.735, which even though we had a smaller critical value this time around, that's still smaller than our critical value. So this means, again, that our data comes from a non-normal population. So again, it's just coming down to comparing that correlation statistic with the critical value. Once we have those two numbers, we can draw a conclusion about our sample data. In example five, again, we're assessing normality. Uh, in this case, we have information on the number of people who visited welcome centers in Utah in 2011. So with this data already entered in the stat crunch, again, construct our QQ plot, add the correlation statistic, and then we'll compare this value to our critical value. So here we come up with a much stronger correlation statistic. Our data is a much better fit to that straight line pattern. We'll again generate the critical value for a QQ plot with a sample size of 12. And then we'll compare those two numbers. So in this case, our QQ plot has a correlation statistic of 0 0.946, which is greater than 0 0.927514. Which is the critical value for the QQ plot. This means that our data does come from a normally distributed population. This means that. So again, that critical value is basically telling us our fit has to be better than this value. Our correlation statistic has to be stronger than this amount which in this case that 0 0.946 is larger than that critical value. So our, we have a strong enough fit to say that our data is coming from a normal population. In our last example, um, again, looking at the same thing, assessing the normality of our data. In this case, this is the number of movie theater admissions per year for both the US and Canada. And these values are reported in billions. So a little over 1.4 billion, almost 1.6 billion, so we'll again construct our QQ plot, add our correlation statistic. In this case, we've got a correlation statistic of 0.971. So based off that, a pretty good fit for our data for that straight line pattern. But we still want to calculate that critical value to be sure. So in this case, we have a sample size of 10, giving us a critical value of 0.917895. So our QQ plot has a correlation statistic of 0 0.971, which is clearly greater than 0 0.917895, which is the critical value for the QQ plot. So this is going to mean that our data comes from a normally distributed population. So in this case, our data is, again, a close enough fit to that straight line pattern, meaning our, the expected observations we would expect to see, uh, to repeat that, um, our expectations are matching the reality of our sample data. If our data fits that straight line pattern or is a close fit for that straight line pattern, 
then our sample data most likely comes from a normally distributed population.